What's up guys, it's Alex here, your friendly reef dog. And today I'm gonna to show you how I set up a frag tank in the sump of my Red Sea Reefer. Now, if it's your first time at the channel and you want weekly reefing goodness, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Right, let's get stuck in. So I decided to create myself a proper space for frags, partly because frag racks look messy and clutter up display tanks, and partly because my corals are now growing quite quickly, so I need to frag fairly often, which means I need more space. And ideally a frag rack in a display tank should be kept free to let new corals I buy settle in before they're glued into their final spot. In a Red Sea Reefer sump, the best place for a frag rack is the skimmer chamber. In the Peninsula 500 sump, the skimmer chamber is a good size at around 50 litres or 13 US gallons, and crucially, it is right at the front, so it's easy to see and access from the front and top down. The Red Sea sumps also have black baffles, which reduces light spill into adjoining areas, although a sheet of black acrylic will do the job if you have transparent baffles. Now I remove the filter sock holders from the stock Red Sea sump to install an automatic filter roller instead. If I hadn't done so, I don't think I'd be able to fit a skimmer and a refugium in the rear sections, and it also helps that my Deltec 600 i skimmer has a small footprint. So that's the space, now onto the equipment I'm using. I have two Tunzi light bars which are completely waterproof and are in my opinion the perfect solution for an in sump frag tank. A normal light is at risk of rusting in a humid sump and will of course spread light everywhere, meaning you get algae everywhere. Whereas the Tunzis don't rust and don't take up much space in the cabinet and they also don't spill light into your sump. The lights I have are the 8811 Marine Eco Chic and the 8850 Full Spectrum. I have two as they're not especially powerful alone, particularly the 8811, although together they are growing my SPS frags. For flow, I have a trusty old Jekod SOW4. It puts out decent flow and has a small footprint. Ideally, I'd probably have a second pump opposite, but one is doing the job okay for now. As to the frag rack itself, I wanted to maximize space, so I made my own one out of egg crate that fits perfectly. I made the frag rack legs out of stacked egg crate, so I didn't lose any precious frag plug space. If you make legs by cable tying egg crate to the side, you lose a few frag plug holes, and given that space is at a premium, every little helps. I left a little bit of space between the front of the egg crate and the glass so I can get an algae scraper in to clean the glass. And for times when I want to give corals a bit more light, I have a couple of egg crate tables lying around that I can put in. Now I do find I get algae growing in my frag tank. I bought a dozen blackfoot trochus snails, which is a bit of a risk because they're likely to breed and some of the smaller ones will probably get stuck in my skimmer and return pump, although so far so good on that front. Ideally I'd probably have a small fox face in here or maybe an algae eating blenny, but it's not really a big enough space for a fish so for now if I need to get any algae off I just move the frags to my display tank for five minutes to let the tang and fox face clean them up. Photographing frags before you sell them is easy in the sump too as they're close to the surface so you can get good top down shots. Although the lighting in my display tank is much better so if I want really good photos I move the frag into the display tank for a few minutes. The only downside I found of having a frag tank in the sump is that it takes up space you could use for filtration, and I've had to get a little bit creative when it comes to finding space for a phosphate reactor. But that's a small price to pay, and with a decent frag capacity, my display tank will look nice and clean, and I'll be able to make enough money from fragging to pay for things like salt mix and coral food. Now because I don't have a fish in the sump and algae is building up, I will have to do a bit of maintenance from time to time, so it's not as maintenance free as a simple frag rack. But that's a relatively minor consideration and the pros well outweigh the cons for my money. If you enjoyed the video then give me a thumbs up and subscribe for next week, and until next time, happy reefing.